Hi, it's Karen and welcome to my channel. Today's card's a very simple ink blended card. I decided to go with some purples and chose three different purple distress inks. A Penny Black Silhouette Floral Stamp from the Allegro set and a simple panel masked off on a sheet of Bristol Smooth cardstock. Now the cardstock was cut larger than I wanted so I could trim it down to size after I'd done the sponging and I just used some simple painter's tape and a scrap of paper to create my mask. The three colours of Distress Ink I used were shaded lilac, dusty concord and wilted violet in that order and I blended those onto the panel in an ombre fashion going backwards and forwards until I was happy with the uh, colour concentration and the blending between the colours. The beauty of the Bristol Smooth cardstock is that you can go over and over and you can blend out any imperfections with no problem at all so it's really easy to use. I'll leave you with a bit of music now while I finish up the ink blending uh, and then I'll come back and explain the next steps. Thanks. So as you saw, I flicked on some Perfect Pearls Mist with my fingers and then I wasn't terribly happy with the contrast between where the ink had whipped away and the actual ink itself. I thought it was quite a bit of quite, quite big white blotches that I wasn't too happy with. So I went over the panel again with the ink and tried to tone those down a bit. And then I actually just spritzed with the um, spritzer bottle and that gave much smaller dots that I found much more appealing. So now I'm actually doing the stamping. Um, I'm starting with the sentiment um, which comes from the Simon Says stamp set and I positioned the stamps out first so I could see that they would fit across the bottom of that panel. Um, 
of stamp descripty sending and now I'm going to add the little uh, lots of love words underneath that before I get the hydrangea stamp out from the penny black set and stamp that on. Uh, each of the images is being stamped twice to give a nice contrast with the uh, the white and the purple panel and um, that's where the misty really comes into its own. It's fantastic for double stamping. And here's where you see my indecision where I cannot decide whether to go with a white card base or another colour. So I try it out on a white card base and then I grab a black card base and I'm still not happy and finally I settle for a pale grey card base and use some soft stone cardstock from Paper Tray Ink that um, appeals to me most and that's what I end up using for my card. So that is pretty much it for today. A very simple card. Um, it uh, is quite effective. I like the, the masked off panel. Um, the ink blending in that ombre fashion always looks nice I think and then the silhouette stamping uh, it tends to be one of my go-to layouts and styles when I can't think what else to do. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.